Okay, we're ready to add a matrix. So we can use it to change where is our cube showing up on the screen. Here I've already done it. We can see we have our body now repositioned and scaled, and we have an arm added here. So let's see how to do this. So the first thing is in the shader. We've modified so that our A position is multiplied by a matrix. So you remember if your theory from your matrices, we're going to use these matrices to modify the vertices um, into their final positions. So we're just going to pass this in from our JavaScript, whatever is the matrix that we want to use. And how are we going to pass that in? So over here inside of our cube, you remember that we set up a matrix, um, which we're going to put some values in. And the same way that we used uniform to pass a color value, we're going to use uniform. Um, and instead of float, we're going to use the matrix for um, type. And we're going to pass a matrix into this uniform variable before we draw the cube. Uh, so the ma so matrix itself is an object class, right? You defined this in your assignment zero, this matrix for class. And we want to get the elements, just the elements to pass over. So this is a float32 type with 16 elements in it that we're going to pass over the JLS elements. So what else do we have to change? Well, we have to set up some of those matrices. Um, Oh, well, while you're connecting things to GLSL, don't forget to define your new thing that you're, you're passing, right? So every time we have a new variable in GLSL, if we put it in the shader up here, then in our function for connecting variables to GLSL, we have to add that in. So I've added the model view matrix here. So if we go down to our render all shapes, we've added a few lines. So on our body, in addition to setting the color, we're now going to take the matrix, and it starts out as an identity. So we're going to translate it by some amount. We're going to scale it by some amount. Um, now remember these happen in reverse order because these are right multiplies. So we started with infinity. We right multiply a translate and then we right multiply a scale. So the scale is happening first and then the translate is happening. And then if we want to get this left arm, I made it yellow so that we can, we can see that it's a separate uh, item here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to set um, some matrix operations, and then we're going to go ahead and render uh, this left arm. So again, we're going to go in reverse. We're going to scale it, and then we're going to rotate it, and then we're going to translate it into, the, into position. So these, these first operations, um, I'm relying on the fact I knew this matrix was an identity to begin with, so it might make more sense to, to put these things as set translate rather than translate, so that we start with um, a matrix that we know what it is. 